Alrighty, so this is an implementation here that we did for one of our kind of long standing clients to uh, build out an automated document merge process that pulls in various different documents from different sources and kind of puts them all together into one primary piece of um, piece of content that will end up attached to that record. So this is built by Tom and Lucas here, a bit of a development dream team. Um, again, kind of the goal to automate the generation of a pretty complicated PDF document by merging multiple different templates together. Um, the tricky thing here is that not all PDFs are required for each step for every single record, as well as um, the fact that some of these PDFs are actually generated outside of Zoho in like a third party application. And so we did essentially is create a kind of UI in the system, I believe in their deals record to determine which components are necessary for a given document that we wanna make. Um, then we can just press a custom button, which will trigger a function that can kind of read through everything that the user added to that deal, determine which components of this document are necessary, and then run the merge on each of those. As that merge is running, it's kind of adding them to a list of attachments in the background inside of the piece of code. And then we take all those attachments that were generated, which could be three, four, five, six different PDFs, just depending on the, the nature of this individual deal. And we use the writer merge PDF API to go ahead and put them all into one document. Um, so regular listeners will remember, we actually used this merge API um, in kind of a cheating way a couple weeks back to um, take certain page sections out of one big document. In this case, we're actually using it for its intended goal, which is to feed it a bunch of documents and merge them all into one. Uh, so really nice implementation here from Tom and Lucas. A lot of the times for something like this, we would probably just have like one master mail merge template with some logical conditions. But because some of these PDFs are just generated external to Zoho in third party applications, uh, we thought this was a pretty slick way to get this job done. Very cool. We do so much with this lately on, you know, document generation just natively. Yeah. And it's just, it's just, it's been a game changer. It's one of those things that you've got a lot of ways to go with this um, with Zoho. And it used to be, I think, you know, in order to do a lot of this stuff, you kind of had to use something like Pandadocs or some of these other third party tools that were out there. There was, what was the one we used to use? Loved it forever. It was Web Merge and then it got acquired by Formstack. Formstack, Web Merge. Yeah, very cool one there as well. But Zoho is really kind of caught up in a lot of ways in doing all this. And then, you know, I think people get confused also because you also have Zoho Contracts, which does some pretty cool stuff in and of its own. Uh, it doesn't allow for graphics or things. But I think what we're able to do on a custom level, just crazy. Yeah, really. A lot really, of the really times, good. you know, we'll be talking to um, potential clients, people thinking about moving over to Zoho, and they'll ask, you know, does it integrate with Pandadoc? Does it integrate with Formstack? And, you know, the answer is right. yes, it does but we can probably just replace it for you. So maybe version one will integrate it because you just kind of plug it in. But if you want to stop paying that subscription fee, just let us know. And, you know, we can probably just build this for you as a custom button. You pay us once to do it and that's it. You own it now. It's yeah. in your system. Yeah. I mean, one of the cool things, the only thing about those other applications that they do that I guess you could, we, maybe we could, I'm curious about this is oftentimes you can generate a proposal that has options that you can check because it's an HTML yeah. view and you can say, oh, I want to buy, I want the A or B and then here's some add-ons and I want to, and it's going to change the total at the bottom and it's going to yeah. do all that. Um, I don't think we've been able to do that natively. And That's the one way. thing we couldn't do. You could probably get away with some type of form intake that then spits out the doc to sign, but you can't bake it into the sign template itself the way that you can in right. something like Mandadocs. Yeah, 